Hi, my name's Amanda and I'm a pharmacist. Today I'll be continuing with my top 200 drugs series with part 9, anxiolytics, sedatives, and ADHD medications. We'll be covering what the drugs are for, some pharmacology and, and mechanism of action, and the generic and brand names. And if you find this video useful, please press the like button and subscribe to my channel and share it with others who may find it helpful too. Thanks, I really appreciate it. First, we'll look at the anxiolytics and sedatives. These are medications that work on the central nervous system to relieve anxiety, to have a calming effect, or help with sleep. And basically, anxiolytics are medications that reduce anxiety, and sedatives are medications that cause sleep. These are often grouped together because many drugs have both anxiolytic and sedative properties, and that's often dose-dependent. And many of the antidepressants that we covered in the last presentation have anxiolytic effects as well. The first anxiolytic and sedative medications we'll look at are the benzodiazepines. These work by enhancing the inhibitory neurotransmitter called gamma aminobutyric acid, or GABA, which has a calming effect on many brain functions. They're also used in the treatment of seizure disorders due to their GABA enhancing effect. Um, the benzodiazepines do have an addiction or dependence potential. They're a DEA Schedule 4. And their use as an anxiolytic or sleep aid depends on each benzodiazepine's pharmacokinetic profile, such as their onset of action, their duration, things like that. Okay, first we'll look at the benzodiazepines indicated for anxiety. And just as a general rule with the benzodiazepines, they end with the suffix am. So there's alprazolam, brand name is Xanax, clonazepam, brand name is clonopin, lorazepam, brand name is Ativan, and diazepam, brand name is Valium. And then in the top 200 of the benzodiazepines that are indicated for insomnia, we have temazepam, brand name is Restoril. Now we'll look at some of the other anxiolytics and sedatives um, in the top 200. First, there's Zolpidem, brand name is Ambien. This is a non-benzodiazepine sleep aid that works by enhancing GABA, and it is also a DEA Schedule 4. And there's Buspirone, brand name Buspar. This is an anxiolytic that binds at certain serotonin and dopamine receptors, but its exact mechanism for reducing anxiety is unknown. Now we'll look at the ADHD medications. And ADHD just stands for Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. And the goal with the medications is to decrease the symptoms of ADHD. So basically to improve focus and improve impulse control. And the ADHD medications work by increasing neurotransmitters that affect focus and impulse control. Um, the two main ones being norepinephrine and dopamine. And there are both stimulant and non-stimulant type medications in this class. First, we'll look at the stimulants. They're also called central nervous system stimulants. Um, they're most commonly the most commonly prescribed medications for ADHD, but they do have abuse potential. Um, they are a DEA Schedule II. And they work by increasing the amounts of dopamine and norepinephrine in the brain. And in the top 200, there's methylphenidate, methylphenidate brand name is Ritalin, dexmethylphenidate, brand name is Focalin, Amphetamine with dextroamphetamine, brand name is Adderall, and Listex amphetamine, brand name is Vyvanse. Now we'll look at the non-stimulants for ADHD in the top 200. First, there's atomoxetine, brand name is Stratera. This medication works by selectively inhibiting norepinephrine, causing increased levels, and it's not a controlled substance. And then there's an extended release clonidine, brand name is Catve, and an extended release guanfacine, brand name is Intunive. Now these we covered in the cardiovascular medications lecture, but I mentioned them here because they also are used for ADHD. They're alpha-2 agonist blood pressure medications, but it's the extended release formulations that are actually indicated for ADHD. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video with others who may find it helpful, and please subscribe to see more of my drug information videos. Thank you. 
And up next, we'll be continuing with our top 200 drug series with part 10, gout, glaucoma, dementia, and Parkinson's disease medications. Thanks for watching.